Well, the lawmaker representing the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, in the Senate, Philip Aduda, has protested the non-inclusion of any Abuja indigen in the 43-man ministerial list sent to the National Assembly for screening and confirmation. Senator Aduda, while citing the Senate standing rules during Wednesday's plenary, urged President Mahmoud Buhari to democratize the system of governance in the FCT. According to him, stripping the powers of the National Assembly as State Assembly for FCT would address the issue. This was supported by Senator Dino Milaye. To the surprise of my constituents and myself, we did not find uh, any nominee from the FCT. And my constituents have asked me to come with a loud voice to say that this National Assembly is the State House of Assembly for the people of the FCT. And as such, they are depending on the National Assembly to help and ensure that there's equity for the people of the FCT. If the Constitution has said that it shall be treated as if it were one of the states, and the same Constitution has said each state of the Federation shall have one, uh, shall have a minister, then automatically I think this is very, very clear. So that in your proposition to the uh, executive, we can come from this point of strength. This is an executive function, and uh, you have made the point very loudly, to borrow your word, and I'm sure the executive uh, will take uh, the appropriate uh, action uh, as quickly as possible. A human rights activist and lawmaker has advised President Mamadou Buhari to respect the rule of law.